Hello guys. Welcome to the second part of the video. Uh, it took me forever to make this video because uh, I was busy all the time and uh, I couldn't film anything. So I do apologize for that. Uh, tonight I want to show you the overclocking that I that I made from uh, for my seven uh, eight uh, sixty. Uh, right now the processor is running at four gig gigahertz. I have already benched the CPU. We have for the single core threaded uh, 348.2 and I'm comparing this processor against the Divishura uh, AMD FX 8350 at 4 GHz. Uh, in a single core as you can see uh, the AMD is slower than the i7 and as for the multi-threaded uh, we're having the 1000 828.27.8 and for the reference we have uh, 1506 1566 uh, the adjustments that I made uh, are right here I'm going to show you um, this is um, uh, by the way this is the real temp that I'm supposed to run all the time uh, th these are my temps right now and in my right uh, we're having the speed fan there is only 100% right now and down we can see the uh, the CPU uh, temperature as 24 degrees Celsius okay now let's go to the CPU Z and show you the the frequency as you can see we have the 4 gigahertz 399.78 this is the frequency that I made the voltages for the for the, for the CPU is uh, 1.360 volts, and uh, I have uh, not made any uh, any adjustments in the BIOS uh, except the uh, the multiplier I have set to 20 and the bus speed to 200, and that gives me exactly clean uh, 200 uh, for uh, 4 gigahertz. Pardon. The QPI link is uh, 3200 right now running. And yeah, uh, this is the. Uh, my system is, is stable. It does very. Uh, it works fine. Um, I had no hiccups so far. And this is the IDA64. These are my score for the memory. The memory, by the way, uh, I have set to 99924. Uh, 1.5 volts for the set in uh, in the BIOS by auto and uh, it's having the 1.5 volts uh, these uh, memory modules uh, uh, except the fact that the is having the two different types of memory 2x2 two two and 2x4 uh, gigabyte uh, they do work if you're having the motherboard with the XMP profile uh, they do work with the XMP uh, but I'm supposed I'm supposed to try this memory on the motherboard, the uh, EX uh, fifty eight gigabyte that I'm having that I'm trying to use. And uh, right here, as you can see, is it, these are my timings nine 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 twenty two, but in the bias is set by twenty four. I believe there is error by the program that is reading. Okay. And in MSI Afterburner, uh, I'm supposed to have. Um, okay, let's start the MSI Afterburner. I'm having a small error with the Riva. Okay, uh, we have for the core clock, we have 1100. And for the memory, for the video card, the 7950, uh, 1451. I can go a little higher for the memory, maybe 1,500 or maybe more, but I'm afraid that the graphics card will not be stable uh, enough and probably I can damage the the video card and uh, right now uh, I'm not uh, intending to break the video card because uh, it's not worth it, uh, just destroying it. Anyway. And the next thing I want to show you is I went to the uh, user benchmark and these are my scores. Right now 
since the processor and the video card are overclocked, uh, we can see that uh, on this side uh, everything turns to be green. Uh, we have for the CPU, uh, the CPU is performing fine. Uh, we have the score I'm going to show you, 73.5 for the CPU. And for the graphics card, we have 38.5%. Of course, it's very low compared to what is uh, existing on the market uh, right now. Of course, the RTX ones and the uh, AMD ones are way faster than what I have right here. And right now, the the CPU is performing way above the the expectation. Uh, we, we just have the score, the 73.5%, which is very good. And for the, also for the graphics cards that this might, uh, of course, uh, if I increase the frequency, will give me a higher points right here, score, pardon, and uh, 1100 by 1451 megahertz for the memory, and of course is performing way above the expectations. 39%, uh, 38.5% uh, is below average, so it's not, it's not enough. For the SSD we have, uh, for the Samsung, uh, right now is performing uh, way above expectation, just like the 95%. Uh, and right here we have the score, 39%. Of course it's lower than the other SSDs. The 1TB hard drive uh, is poor, is performing poor since it's very, it's full of data and it doesn't spin properly. Probably that's, the, that's why it's giving me the the lower score right now and for the memory since it doesn't have the uh, XMP profile and uh, the timings that is uh, as you can see we have uh, we have here uh, four sticks of memory uh, as I explained uh, previously and 52% performing as expected and the score will be below average yeah I'm intending to test to make more tests uh, using the CPU. Using this CPU right now, that is updated, and uh, see how they perform in uh, games and uh, other, ap uh, other applications. Um, I see you in the part three of the video when I'll be posting the the gameplay, some some of the gameplay and uh, other tests. Thank you for watching once again. Bye.